which is how much does it cost to remove scar tissue? And I think there's really two ways to ask this question. How much does it cost to remove scar tissue? And how much does it cost to heal scar tissue? The cost of removing scar tissue, and I'm assuming with the word remove, people are assuming a surgical approach to getting rid of scar tissue. So that is where you have some sort of scarring somewhere and somebody takes a knife or other instrument to surgically remove that scar tissue, physically remove something from your body, and then sew it back up with the hope that it heals better than the previous whatever healed so that you end up with a smaller scar instead of what you've got right then. The cost for that can be anything. If you get a friend who's a doctor to do it for free, it's zero. If you choose the most expensive person in the world to remove some sort of scar, the most expensive plastic surgery in the world, I would guess you could spend upwards of a million dollars to have that done. So the cost to actually remove scar tissue is very sort of ambiguous. It can be anything, to be honest. And it really depends on your own scarring and the doctor you would choose for the procedure and all of that. That would be the cost to remove scar tissue. The cost to heal scar tissue, if you want to do your own scar tissue healing, I would say the biggest cost factor there is actually time. The amount of time that it takes for you to heal your own scarring. And there are lots of things you can do to cut down on the amount of time that it takes for your scar to heal. Your body does heal scars naturally. That's your body's natural tendency is to want to heal scarring on its own. It doesn't necessarily always heal it in the way that you would like it healed until you actually start working on it in a way that allows it to be healed. So there's a couple of things that you can do to improve a scarring that has happened in the past or to improve your body's ability to heal, which actually decreases the time cost associated. And there's lots of things you can do, but the two I would recommend in this video, the three, three I would recommend in this video. One is to eat more green leafy things. And I'm not talking about iceberg lettuce. That's not very green. I'm talking about like a dark, deep green, like hunter green, I guess is the color. Men only get 16 colors. I, I've told my wife a lot. I don't know how periwinkle is a color. That doesn't even sound, it sounds like a character in a cartoon. It doesn't sound like a color. Anyway, you're looking for something dark green in terms of a vegetable. So pick something like arugula or kale or spinach, something dark green and leafy will help your body to get the nutrients it needs to actually heal. And what I like to do to get my greens early in the day, I'll actually take a couple of eggs and fry them or just you know cook them in a pan with some butter, but not that much butter, a little bit of butter. And then I will take those two eggs and put them over a big plate of arugula. Arugula then becomes like a green that I eat at the beginning of the day. It tastes really good. It's this nice peppery leaf. And I think it actually curbs appetite for the rest of the day. And there's lots of evidence to say why dark green leafy things will curb your appetite. But in any case, you're going to make your body more alkaline and less acidic. And we end up with very acidic bodies in the societies that we live in, in the Western world. And that helps our body to take a longer time to heal. So if you want to decrease the amount of time that it takes for your body to heal, I would go with something a little bit more alkaline creating in your body, which is the green leafy and then also the kind of water you were drinking. I would get a water test kit and just see if your water is more alkaline or acidic. And there's things that you can do and learn about to make your water better for you. So that's the second thing. And then the third thing to decrease the amount of time that it's going to take for your scar tissue to heal, the decrease the time cost associated with that, would be to actually physically work on the scarring. And that's using things like the point and prick method, the skin rolling technique, cross fibering, lots of techniques that you can actually do to physically manipulate the scar. And we detail a lot of that as well in the healing scar tissue system. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check that out at healingscartissue.com. And hopefully this has helped you to gain a better understanding at least of the cost associated with healing scar tissue. Again, the biggest cost there is time, and I've given you some ways that you can decrease that. If you want to remove your scarring, I would recommend to find somebody really good who comes really recommended. Do lots of research on that person if you are going to have your scar tissue physically removed with a knife. But what I would recommend 
is to work on healing your scar tissue and to decrease the time cost associated with doing so. Thank you very much for taking a few minutes to watch this video. And if you are interested in learning more about how to heal your own scarring, please visit www.healingscartissue.com. That's healingscartissue.com. My name is Jonathan Kraft, and I hope you enjoy a great day.